My name is Deepa. My family escaped from a civil war before I was born. In 1995, the conflict had happened against the current state. People and animals got killed. The hearts were fired. The plants were broke down by Burmese soldiers. It was very dangerous to continue to live there, so my parents and older sister picked up their stuff and ran to the refugee camp called Mekaki. They had to walk day and night to reach the camp. My mom had to carry my older sister in her chest on the way. My dad carried the stuff like cloth, a little bit of food, and others. At night, they used a flashlight for seeing. They couldn't light up their flashlight brightly because they were ancient about Burmese soldiers. And if they saw them, they would shoot them with a girl. At last, they reached the camp. After their two years in camp, I was born, and after my five years, my youngest brother was born. The place was unsafe for us, so once again, we had to move. In our last camp, we took a car and it drove by a tar soldiers. I started to learn in no to high school, son, first grade, and I stopped at 10th grade. A refugee camp, we had to paint in order for us to get to learn. In school, if we didn't wear a uniform, we got hit by the teachers. If we didn't do our homework, we had to run around outside the school buildings, clean the toilets or blackboard. We had no chance to go outside of the camp to find a job. If the Thai security workers saw us, they caught us and put us in the jail. The food was given by the UNHCR, at which include rice, oil, yellow bean, red pepper, fish pits, and salt. It was not enough for us. For a job, my mom used to weave clothes, bank, a skirt, and sell those to people who need them. My dad worked as a farmer to serve his family. Life in refugee camp was very difficult. After all, the U.S. government conducted refugee people to move to America. My family started to apply and later on, we were accepted to come to U.S. My family left refugee camp in 2013 July and started our long journey. It was our very first time on a plane and we disliked the food because it smelled stinky, even if it looked delicious to other people. When I went to the bathroom, I didn't close the door because I worried that the door will lock and I couldn't open it back. And I asked my younger brother to wait by the door. We are blessed because every airport that we arrived in, there is someone already there to help us to find a right plane so we will get lost. Lastly, we arrived in St. Paul, Minnesota in August 2013.